Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico and I'm always excited to be stamping with you. And of course, today is no exception. I have a fabulous project to share. It's actually five cards, but they're really simple and easy to create. And I think, I hope you're going to love them as much as I do. So I have combined the beautiful marbled background with the Hello Friend stamp set to create a set of gorgeous cards. And the last one is definitely my favorite. So let's go ahead and make the last one and then I'll show all of them to you again. So the last one is going to be Berry Burst. If you haven't figured it out, I'm using our new in colors. I'm going to grab a piece of paper here just to protect my work surface a little bit. And <clears throat> I have two, well, three pieces. I have my card base, and then I have two pieces of cardstock here. One is just a little smaller. That's the one I'm going to stamp on. Now, all the dimensions and supplies and everything are on my blog post, which the link is in the description of this video. You can also subscribe to my channel by clicking my subscribe now button, and you won't miss any amazing videos from me coming up. So I've got my uh, marbled background stamp here, which again, I just love this one. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna use my Berry Burst ink pad. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover my ink pad, or cover my stamp with ink. And then I find it's really helpful to have a rubber. A rubber. A rubber is nothing more than a large block to help you give even pressure to your stamp. Because you notice I'm not picking my stamp up and flipping it over and stamping it down. I'm putting my paper onto my stamp. Now here's a rubber I just happened to have out when I was working on another project that used this big stamp. So I'm just pushing evenly. I, I wanna make sure my paper doesn't slide around on here, but when I pull it off, are you ready? Oh, so pretty. So on these big background stamps, it's so much easier than trying to put this down is to just put the paper onto the stamp. And having a rubber is really helpful. Now, in case you were not up on all the Stampin' Up! terminology, I will share with you the correct usage of these words. And this is from a friend of mine. <laughs> this, of course, is a background stamp, also known as a big hard one. This is rubber. Now, let me close my, oh no, I guess I do need my ink pad open. Now the last term that you need in the stamping trifecta terminology is the bone folder, otherwise known as the boner. I'm saying it quietly in case there are little ears in the background. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I hope I've given you your giggle for today. <laughs> All right, so I folded my card. I have that slightly larger layer that I'm going to adhere this um, layer to. And the reason I did that was just to make my card look fancier. Honestly, that's all. Um, because I knew this was going to be a really simple card, uh, I wanted to make it just a touch fancier. And by adding that extra layer, you really get kind of that extra fancy look to your project. Okay, then I'm going to set that aside for a minute. I have in my scrap drawer, I had a whole bunch of these scraps and I'm always looking for ways to use them up. So I thought this was perfect to fit my Hello stamp, which is right here. So this is from the stamp set Hello Friend, which I love. This is um, one of the first few stamp sets in the catalog. It's part of a, um, well, you can get a kit that goes with this. And actually, I just got mine. Let me grab it so you can see. It's kind of cool. It's the Hello Friend Heat Embossing Project Kit. So it comes with all kinds of fun little embellishments. Look at these are sequin trims that are pink. <laughs> um, but it comes with all the stuff to make, I think, three different projects. So yeah, here they are. So you're going to emboss with some copper on there. There's some white embossing here and here. So I'm kind of excited to try this out. So it's got all the directions and everything that you need to do this. So aren't these pretty cards? It makes, um, it looks like 15 cards. So very cool. Anyway, this is the stamp set that goes with this kit. It's You can get them separately though. 
So let me put that back and get back to my project. <laughs> All right. Now I want, I love this hello stamp, by the way. I've used it uh, quite a few times already. And I think this is the perfect thing for the make a card, send a card campaign. I don't know if you've heard of this and I'm not 100% sure where it started. Um, I've seen the CEO of our company use this hashtag. And so I don't know if she started it or if it came from someplace else. But I love the idea. Make a card, send a card. Okay, I totally did. Well, I mean, this is okay, but I mean, since I have a whole stack of these, I'm going to just do it one more time. <laughs> do you ever do that? If you have extra paper just handy, you can stamp it again. But if you don't, you have to resurrect it and make it work. <laughs> At least that's how I roll. Okay, so I'm stamping hello and then friend. I do kind of like the overlapping, but just so you can see it clearer, I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so maybe we'll use that on something else coming up. So then I'm just going to take and put this here, but I want to add a little something to it. So I'm going to pull out my embellishments, and here is my package of the little doilies. Now, if you haven't ever used our doilies, they're like stuck together. You think you only have one, but really you have two. Um, and then I store them in just a clear case that you can get. And I ha actually have all my embellishments in here. So I've got all of these different containers full of embellishments. And um, somewhere, no, well, it's not out. Um, there's also a way you can print out the inserts so that you can label all of them, which I think is pretty cool. Okay, so back to my dolly. Now I only need a little hunk of this. I don't need the whole thing, so I'm just going to trim off that much. Then I will turn this over and I want to uh, put a little <clears throat> line of adhesive right at the bottom here so I can pick up my little teeny hunk of doily and I'll just go like that. So there's my doily. I'm going to add this to my card, so I'll put some more adhesive on here. And then I'm going to trim off the excess just by turning this over. And last but not least, we need to do some spritzing. So let me grab my marker and I'll just move this stuff aside so I don't spritz it inadvertently. Okay, so I'm just going to take my marker, open it up, put the tip in the cap, and there we go. Got some good spritzes on there. Voila! Isn't that cool? Very fun. And then I'm going to pop this up on my card. Again, this just makes it just a little bit fancier. So you can take kind of a boring card and do a couple, a couple little things here and there to make it fancy and I love that about stamping so you really can impress people now I think the five of these cards would make a wonderful gift you can package them up together in a little bag or a box and give them or you can keep them individually now if you hold on Hold on one second. I'm going to grab something, then we're going to make it even fancier. One more. Okay, so it dawned on me that we should have coordinating envelopes if we're going to make this as a gift, right? So what if I bring back my background stamp? Once again, I'm going to ink up just a little bit at the bottom because that's all I need. Oh, no, I guess I need more than that. I was kidding. Because <laughs> our flap is, of course, bigger on the envelope. Okay, so I'm just going to place the flap on here. I'm going to use my smaller stamp as my rubber and just go all over. Again, I want to keep my envelope in place. I don't want it to move around. And then I have a gorgeous envelope flap. Hello, how awesome is that? Yay, I'm excited. I think that really will make this a fancy set of cards rather than just a set of plain cards. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed 
our project today, please check out my blog for all the details. And of course, if you need to purchase any of these items, I would so appreciate it if you ordered through my online store. You'll become a Creativity Cave VIP and I have all kinds of great perks for you. And as, as always, I am so excited to stamp with you. Come back and stamp with me again tomorrow. Have a great day, guys. Bye.